Hello, magnificent people of YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you how to amplify your own whistle with a piece of paper. Now you may be thinking at this point, hmm, doesn't this only work with grass? Because basically there's a method of doing this with grass, but I have configured my own method of doing this with paper and it works perfectly. So listen up, let us begin. Firstly, to create this paper whistle, all you will need is a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. Now, this next bit is very easy. All you have to do is cut out a very thin strip of paper that needs to be roughly the same length as your thumb. And then I will show you how to later uh, blow this piece of paper in a way that it makes a whistling noise. So. If you just cut along the piece of paper, as I said, but it needs to be a very small strip. It needs to be roughly the same size as in width as a piece of grass. So you just cut it, so something like that. And then you just make it really thin. Something like that, and that is as you can see in comparison to my hand, it's a very small strip of paper, and this, I promise you, is enough to make a whistling noise. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final step. All we have to do now is what actually creates the noise of this whistle through this tiny piece of paper presented here. So basically, first of all, what actually creates the noise is the very fact that the air goes on top and under the uh, the the object. And so what this does is, in, in, in very small movements, what's technically happening in slow motion is the paper is going like that, um, like vibrating a lot. And this vibration is what creates the actual noise. Uh, the same principle applies to a saxophone. At the top of the saxophone, you have um, a little uh, wooden device, which is called the reed. Uh, and when you blow onto the reed through the mouthpiece, what happens is the air from your mouth goes um, above and below the reed, making the reed vibrate, and thus creating a really high-pitched noise, which goes throughout the entire piece of uh, throughout the entire saxophone, and that later gets transformed into a much deeper, brassy, cool saxophone noise. Anyway, that's getting a bit carried away, but that is why you need to have a very tight grip when you do this. Too tight and the paper will break, so don't do that. And if it's too loose, you won't get, you won't get any noise at all, as mentioned previously. So you need a bit of tension, not too much. So you have it like that is the perfect amount of tension and that is how it should look. It should just be in between in the very middle bit of your thumbs and then you blow and it makes a really high pitched either you love it or you hate it noise and it's really cool to show off to your friends or whatever and I also do this sometimes uh, when you're walking along. Um, you can also do this with various other materials because you can do it with grass I've tried. Grass is the best thing uh, in my opinion, to do this with. You can do it with a thick bit of grass uh, that's the same thickness as this, and the same length as this piece of paper. Uh, however, grass... Yeah, grass is the best... I'd say the grass is the best material for this. Um, I don't know why, it just seems to really work very well. Uh, however, in my garden, I couldn't find any grass, and I thought, hmm, does it work with any other material? So I did numerous trials with this piece of paper here, second perfect material for this. So that is why I'm creating this video. So anyway, so you do that, you create tension in between your thumbs, you blow it and it should create a noise. Here we go. Nope. Basically, uh, just so you know, practice it a bunch of times. Once you know how to do it, it should take you about five or three times and you should get a noise. But anyway, is the noise you should get. Now, as always, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like down below and to subscribe to my How to Master channel. 
This would help me in widening this channel and creating more videos like this in the future. Please also leave a comment down below if you have any concerns or suggestions for videos like this in the future. Thank you so much.